This is John Spiewike with Spiewike Preservation Consultants and uh, we're here at the Old Cathedral in St. Louis, Missouri working with the stonemasons on the restoration of the stone. This is the oldest Catholic church west of the Mississippi River. Today we're working with the stonemasons and removing the Portland cement mortar from the joints as well as redressing the stone in situ and teaching them about stone restoration tools and techniques. Nine restoration workers, five supervisors, and two architects attended the on-site training class, and the participants reviewed the project specification requirements and the U.S. Department of Interior Secretary of Standards for Rehabilitation as it related to the work of this section. It is the intention of the training to remove the non-original Portland cement mortar from the historic stone walls in a systematic, careful approach using various tools and methods in a manner that protects the historic integrity of the wall. Each restoration worker was assigned a small portion of the existing wall to execute the methods of approach in removing the Portland cement mortar. A three-step process in the selection of the appropriate tools for the intended purpose was demonstrated. Also, we monitored the amount of air pressure required to perform the removal work while at the same time protecting the surrounding stone edges from damage. The depth of the mortar removal was set at two and a half times the width of the joint as set forth by the National Park Service Preservation Brief number two. The second day of training involved the full and complete removal of an entire piece of stone from the facade to facilitate a complete replacement of the stone in the same location. The work required careful removal of the entire units from joint to joint without damaging the surrounding stone in a manner that permits the replacement with full size units. Supports were required to protect the remaining stonework that surrounded the removal area. During day three, the restoration workers learned the tools and techniques involved with stone redressing in situ as part of the stone restoration requirements for the project. Dutchman repair techniques were also executed during the training course on the third day to facilitate an understanding of the tools, techniques, and methods to create a repair within a sixteenth of an inch tolerance from joint to joint for a partial replacement. 